Hurricane Milton tore through Florida, leaving a trail of destruction, spawning tornadoes, killing at least 10 people and causing power outages for millions before moving into the Atlantic Ocean on Thursday. While the feared catastrophic seawater surge did not materialize, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis emphasized that damage was still considerable, especially with ongoing concerns of flooding. In the Tampa Bay region, the anticipated storm surge was avoided, but barrier islands south of the city experienced severe flooding. At a White House briefing, U.S. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas confirmed that 10 deaths were reported, primarily caused by tornadoes, which touched down 27 times across the state. In St. Lucie County, five deaths were reported, including fatalities in senior living communities. Florida is also grappling with power outages affecting more than 3.2 million homes and businesses. Some areas had already been without power due to a previous storm, Hurricane Helen. In St. Petersburg, a fallen crane dramatically severed part of the Johnson Pope building, offering a stark visual of Milton's might. Despite the destruction, no injuries were reported at Tropicana Field, which was being used as a staging area for relief efforts.